Okay, here we go. What's up guys? It's T-Bag. And today we're gonna do the same video as we did last time, but instead of using the worst guns in Battlefield games, we're gonna use the best guns. And I know some of you were a little bit, you know, upset with my picks for the worst guns in Battlefield 4, Hardline, Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm gonna let you guys decide which are the best guns in these games. And a lot of you, especially for Battlefield 5, decided that the STG-44 was definitely, hold on, objectively the best gun according to you guys. By the way, this is the new map, El Sandan, and it's not available for Conquest, only for like uh, smaller game modes like Squad Conquest, what we're doing right now. Well, that was close. I'm gonna let this guy move up first. How did he... He was just laying there. Don't die, please. Okay, there's a sniper over there. Hit him one time, 17 damage. So far I gotta agree, it's pretty good. We're on top of the leaderboard, seven kills, zero deaths. Ooh, sniper, or at least a uh, DMR, whatever it's called in this game. Okay, wow. Would you look at that? I think we're gonna lose this, but we do have a decent streak, nine and oh, not too bad. Yeah, there was uh, some spray and pray action right there. Okay, they're here, they're very close. You see, I knew somebody was close. I'm just gonna capture C, why not? Okay, we're capturing, we're capturing. My squad is here, that's good. I can get you up guys, I can get you up. Please let's make this. Nice. There's a guy right here. Yeah, we are definitely not winning this. But we can finish this game with a nice score. I think there's a guy somewhere around here. I knew it! Wow, that spawn. That's such a shame, we were 16 and 0. That's one. Honestly, the tap fire potential on the STG-44 is pretty, pretty insane. This guy with a boy's anti-tank rifle, okay. You do you, bro. Ah, close, close. Well, not a close game, but we did get a decent score. 19 and 2. I don't count the second death, but we'll take it anyway. Anyway, let's hop on over to Battlefield 1 because we're going backwards. So now we are here with Battlefield 1 because, like I said, we're going backwards from Battlefield 5 to Battlefield 1. And a lot of you guys said over on Twitter, by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you can do so right now. said that the ribeye rolls or the SMG-08 are the best guns in Battlefield 1 and even though I do agree those are some of the best guns in this game I think this gun the SL sweeper for the medic class is also so the SL sweeper is in my opinion one of the best guns in this game I wanted to switch things up I didn't want this whole video to be SMGs and assault rifles if you know what I mean so let's capture this objective oh we already got the objective okay now this gun is not the best at long ranges, but I'll tell you, for close range and even medium range, because it's full auto, and it's a 3 shot kill up close, it's really, really good. There are a lot of guys here. A lot of guys. I'm pinned down. Okay, finally, we're pushing up. Okay, push up, push up. Come on, in the way, I didn't see anything. This is crazy. Look at this guy.
These small grenades do help, though. Always pre-fire, guys. Always pre-fire. Yeah, we're gonna lose this. Okay, we lost yet again. Two games in a row. But, I think, yeah, 22-9. Again, we are MVP. So let's go to Battlefield Hardline. Okay, so for Battlefield Hardline, a lot of you said the M416 or the M16A3. Now, I don't know which one to choose, but I do know that the M416 is a little bit more expensive, so we're gonna go with that one. Here we go, let's see if the M416 is the best gun in Battlefield Hardline, according to you guys, so you can't get mad at me. Okay, we got one guy. Okay, yeah, this thing shoots like a maniac. I think in Battlefield 4 it shoots 750 rounds per minute, but in Battlefield Hardline... It's... What in the... Oh, look at this guy. He was just sitting there. Nice spawn. Is it me or do a lot of these maps seem a little bit too small for a 64 player team deathmatch game? Look at this spawn! I spawned with him! Can... How did he... I'm saying it time and time again. The time to kill in Battlefield Hardline is something else. Maybe it's the ping, I don't know. Get turned on, bro. And then I stuck on a tree. I'm sorry, I don't know what these spawns are. But this is just ridiculous. I'm spawning right in the territory. By the way, a lot of you also said that the FAL and stuff like that are the best guns in the game. But keep in mind, I don't have any DLC for Battlefield Hardline. So it's either the M16A3 or the M416. And I chose the M416. This gun is pretty good, not gonna lie. The time to kill is... I'm, I'm keep saying it, the time to kill is crazy. This gun shreds, you guys were right, the M416 is the best. Probably. Okay, so there's a guy going up these stairs. Okay, you can turn on people really quick, there's a guy upstairs. Oh, the last guy caught me. Let's see how we're doing. Near the top of the scoreboard, not too bad. Remember, we came in late. This thing shreds like a maniac. There's a guy right here. I knew it. Oh, double kill, okay, I'll take that. Why are people camping in TDM? Okay, well that's two. Can we tap fire him? Yes, we can. That's another kill. This gun is insane! I need ammo. Well, that's it. I'm officially out of ammo. I killed too many people. 40 and 11. We're doing pretty good work. Top of the scoreboard almost. Another one with the pistol. There we go, now we're dead, finally. Now we can use the M416 again. Heck, we might even win this. Look at this spawn yet again. We are spawning right behind them. What? Look at this. This is... This is ridiculous. What is this spawn? I don't understand. We lost again. That's three games in a row. But in terms of the score, we're doing, we're doing pretty good in my opinion. So we are number three on the whole scoreboard. So almost MVP, 47 and 13. I think that's a pretty decent score. Let's go to Battlefield 4. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we are playing Battlefield 4. And the vast majority of you guys over on Twitter said that the AEK is the best gun in Battlefield 4. And you know what? I can see where you guys are coming from. It's personally not my favorite. We almost got that guy. Would be a nice intro. There we go. It's personally not my favorite, but we're gonna get some kills anyway. And hopefully get on top of the scoreboard.
Like I said, this is not my favorite. I need to get used to the recoil and stuff like that because normally I'm going with the M416, but since we already did that with the uh, with Battlefield Hardline, I decided let's do a different weapon for Battlefield 4. Is it? Almost didn't get him. He was just out of reach. Now I only have 15 bullets left. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with the G18 until we're dead and we're gonna use the AK again. You know what? Maybe the G18 is the best gun in the game. A Claymore. That's how we're gonna end the streak. With a Claymore. Who uses Claymores in Battlefield 4 anyway? I knew he was there. There we go, we got him. Let's see if we can flank him from the right. I think there's a guy somewhere here. At least I... There we go. The time to kill is pretty good from the right position. Excuse me. Wow. It was quick. That's the same... Yeah, you're gonna teabag at me? You're gonna teabag at me? Okay, now I'm triggered. As soon as I find that guy, I'm gonna teabag the hell out of him. It's my name, for God's sake. Where is this guy? It's time for revenge. There's that guy, I think. Not the wrong I'm sure. Yep, that's him. Nice. Nice teabag for you, bro. What about that? We're gonna follow this guy. Is this a guy here? There is. Some tap fire action, there we go. Ooh, there was a little bit too much spray. Oh, we won anyways, there you go. 20 and 3, I think that's a pretty good score. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We used the best guns in each Battlefield game. Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. According to you, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.